back guys I am Bruno Carnero back here doing another car review for the Indy Pro 2000 actually that just came out along with the USF 2000 uh, for the Mazda Road to Indy or the Road to Indy ladder program um, so we're gonna be doing a official review for you guys here in the Indy Pro 2000 at Indianapolis because that's only fitting so doing a lap in the road course getting a first feel first look for the car really excited for this as it has more power and it weighs a hundred pounds less than the formula 3 car so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how they compare how they can work together uh, I've never driven a Indy Pro 2000 I have however driven the Delara F3 the same one that we raise here on iRacing so should be pretty interesting I'm excited to get in the car get a first look at it and see how this car responds um, so yeah let's get let's get going we jump in so first of all you get the loading screen road to Indy right there on the dash as you can see same steering wheel as the USF 2000 has and Cooper tires just like the USF 2000 obviously uh, the road to Indy runs with the Cooper tire tire let's say so uh, pretty excited to see nice view once again it looks like you're sitting in the USF 2000 Except this time you have a hundred more horsepower um, and a lot more aerodynamic grip. So let's go ahead and get going for our first lap here. This car sounds really cool as well. So we're doing the old layout of Indianapolis Road Course. I only thought it was fitting, you know, since it's Indy Pro. Indy, Indy, Indianapolis. So. So again, damage model, tire, new, the new tire models on this as well, so it takes a while to get up to temperature, so we're going to take it nice and easy, just get a feel for the car, is the main thing here. It's got a lot of power, again 275 horsepower, it's about 25 horsepower more than the Formula 3 car, which is pretty impressive. But the Delara F3 just has an unbelievable amount of downforce, which... You know, that's that's where I think the Indy Pro 2000 may lack a little bit, so. So let's start our first lap here in the Indy Pro 2000. So far, the sound itself is just awesome. Love that. Some people say it sounds like a can of rattling bees, so. Yeah, that, that, that's acceptable, I guess. But it's nice. I like it. Let's take a look at the braking here. Heavy braking zone. can trust the brakes pretty good there. I let off pretty early because I didn't want to risk a lockup, but I seem to be able to trust. Easy getting back on power as well. You can see right there a little bit of aero push. I'll try to carry the speed. Again, another car I'm driving just on baseline, so this is bone stock pretty much. What I'm feeling so far, obviously tires not fully up to temperature quite yet, but what I'm feeling so far, oh, uh, almost missed the corner there. It's just a little bit of give out in the middle of these corners, so you just get a little bit of understeer. The rear a little bit loose in second as well. You get all that power behind you, so it's pretty easy to get it sideways, is what it's feeling like. Again, first lap, tires getting up to temperature still. I have kilometers on, but we are 240 kilometers an hour. Continuously growing 250. Yes, 50. Let's try the brakes again here. Yeah, they're, they're really good. It gets you stopped really quick. Oh, that's impressive to see. Can be really confident with these brakes. Let's take a look. Yeah, you see, as the tires warm up, the aero push isn't there as much. But we were using all the track and some there. Again, people get this car for free if you've purchased the Pro Mazda within the last 24 months. 
So it's a pretty cool option that iRacing is giving to their customers. No, this ad is not paid by iRacing though. I just wanted to say that, so. Car is really nice actually. Similar to the USF 2000 that we also did a review on. This car is really doing a great job actually. We'll get one more flyer just to feel out some more things. Now that tires are up to temperature. Overall I have nothing to really complain about. You can lose it on power quite easily. And the brakes are really good is what I'm feeling so far. And as the tires come up to temperature yeah, you really can trust those brakes. That was really impressive. It's got a little bit of understeer. I'm gonna I'm gonna settle it at that. It's got a little bit of understeer in the middle of these corners. Just kind of gives out, and I think, you know, it's not only high speed. So I don't know if it's just an aero thing. It might just be the chassis itself. But you do lose a little bit of that grip on the front in the middle of some of these corners where you need it. You know. Obviously, I think a setup could fix that pretty easily. Um, yeah, so far, so good. Again, you saw the car was kind of dancing there on power. Um, it's a lot of power for this little formula car, so I would have to explain it. Overall, really good car. I like it a lot. Second gear is the only gear that it's a little bit iffy at, where you can lose the rear a little bit I don't want to keep you guys for too long but I could honestly just keep running laps right now this car is really fun and the braking is what's really impressive you can really trust these brakes I haven't even touched the brake bias it's set at 56.1 which is probably why 56 is pretty pretty good number so yeah really nice car gonna try one more brake zone yeah a little bit of lock up there but really cool this car is excellent to drive I'm really enjoying it so far um, lots of fun and definitely a great buy especially if you have the USF 2000 you now have the Indy Pro 2000 there is no Indy lights unfortunately but you do have Indy car right there that you could jump right into so it's a lot of fun great car really impressed with it um, yeah it's a lot of fun it's a good looking car too Definitely comparable to the Formula 3. It's probably going to put up a bit of a challenge there with the Formula 3 car. Um, but, it, you know, it has more power, but it lacks that aero grip, which we could tell. You know, in the middle of these corners, we didn't have as much bite in the front as we may have wanted to. But overall, it's a really good car and, you know, good progression. If they had the Indy Lights car, I'd be really interested to see that. You know, to see the full progression from USF 2000, Indy Pro 2000. Indy lights and then getting into the Indy car, which iRacing has as well. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive. I like the car; it's really fun. Uh, Tatis makes both the USF 2000 and the Indy Pro 2000, so it's a good car overall. Um, the chassis is good, and um, yeah, it's just got the extra aerodynamics. It's got the more power in the back, and it's got that little B sounding engine going on. So, which is really cool. I like it a lot. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, link to my twitch is going to be in the description um like before so hopefully you guys can go check that out leave a follow i'd really appreciate it go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video if you enjoyed it uh, if it was helpful for you um it's a good car goodbye i racing doing a great job as always um once the tires come up to temperature does a great job and again main things i felt were just a little bit of that understeer in the middle of some of these corners and really easy to lose the rear and second gear just because you know you got a lot of power and if you have a lot of angle in the wheel it's bound to happen so uh, yeah, it was a good car. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. Good power and lots of fun. So congrats to iRacing for making a great car once again and great for us uh, users to have a, a platform and a ladder system to now work off of and it's going to be fun to, to race uh, Indy Pro 2000 here on iRacing. So thank you so much guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful and um, yeah, be sure to support the channel and Twitch, all things like that. So hopefully we can get back to racing in real life though. Uh, but until then, Best of luck and see you guys later.